Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am actually going to do my skincare routine. A lot of you guys told me to show how what products I use for my skincare. So I'm going to break it up like a morning skincare routine and a nighttime skincare routine. So that is what I'm going to show you guys today and also I just want to say I have extremely dry skin and it's very hard to take care of my skin during winter so whatever products I use suits really really well if you have dry skin. Some of the products here are going to suit oily skin too so I'm gonna go through it and also I just want to say that my skincare routine is not too long or it's not too complicated. I do use like only five products here. I do keep my skincare routine very very simple. I do not do a 10 step skincare routine especially in the morning uh, so yeah let's get on with the video if you are seeing me for the first time thank you so much for checking out this video thank you so much for hanging out with me if you like the vibe here you can check out my other content you can check out my other videos and also feel free to subscribe it helps me out so much and also ring on the notification bell as well so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is I do not like to wash my face with the cleanser because only last night I did all of my cleansing and I did put uh, serums and everything. So I do not cleanse my face with the cleanser, just with some cold water. I splash my face with some cold water and right after that I go in with this crystal roller. I only use this while I am planning to film a video like today. Uh, whenever I get up really really early to film a video my eyes get very very swollen and it looks very puffy so that is why I use this to deep off my eyes I keep this in the freezer and I just like to use this around my eyes to deep off my eyes and it just helps so much it's like using eyes on your eyes but yeah it's it's really helpful to deep off your eyes if you are someone who has uh, those deep off kind of problems on your eyes right after you wake up. I do think uh, using something like this really really helps um, a lot and I did uh, put this up on my Instagram stories as well because my eyes were looking so droopy in one of the videos I filmed so I had to cancel the whole video refilm it again so that is why I have been using this lately because it's winter and I do not want to get up so early but yeah this helps me to deep off my eyes a lot so after using that crystal roller i go in with a vitamin c serum i like to use my vitamin c serum in the morning i do not like to use this at night because vitamin c serums has a lot of benefits and it's more beneficial to use a vitamin c in the morning so that is why i like to use the vitamin c in the morning so this is the body wise vitamin c it has 20 percent of vitamin c in it and i also did like a video in collaboration with body wise and i i actually really love this product i have been using it ever since i got it so I really like this a lot I love the consistency it just seeps into my skin I do not need a lot of vitamin C I just need two drops or three drops to cover up my whole face and that's it I'm about to run out of this vitamin C so anyway I really really love this a lot and I have been using it for such a long time I do see that my face is brightened up my face looks radiant after using this vitamin C so right after I go in with the vitamin C I like to add alpha arbutin to remove that pigmentation that I have or scarrings that I have from acne marks I really like to put alpha arbutin twice in my skincare routine because you can put alpha arbutin twice in your skincare routine and also uh, I have done a review a total like full-on review on the minimalist alpha arbutin this is what I have been using for so long and uh, this I like to put it right after I put on my vitamin C so I like to take two drops of this and after I put my vitamin C I like that my face to rest for like uh, two minutes and then after that I go in with my alpha arbutin so again as I said I like to take two drops of alpha arbutin and put this all over my face and this alpha arbutin soaks up so well and it spreads very evenly too so I really love that and it just like uh, sinks into my skin and right after using an alpha arbutin I like to use something like an essence or something like that sort like 
uh, I would say this snail nuisance. Yeah, this is an essence. So mainly I like to use this Cosorex Advanced uh, Snail Mucin because this is so good, especially for dry skin. This really helps my dry skin to look very radiant. It gives me that glowy kind of finish. And also I feel like the flaky problem that I have during winter time, my skin flaky problem, this one removes it totally. So I like to take one and a half pump of this. I do not need a lot of it. I just need one and a half pump to cover up my whole face. So I like to take one and a half pump of the snail mucin and put it all over my face. And again, as I said, Cosorex snail mucin is amazing. If you have dry skin, I'm really, really sure you are going to love something like this in your routine. And again, uh, the Cosorex snail mucin pairs up really well with other actives. You can use this in the morning and at night. So I use this in the morning and in my nighttime skincare routine too. So I really have been loving this and obviously I'm going to repurchase this once I run out of it. So as I said, I do not use a lot of skincare products in my routine. So those were only the essence or the serums that I use for my skin. Now coming on to moisturizer, right after I put on my serums and stuff like that, I, I put on my moisturizer. So this is actually a fairly new moisturizer that I have, I got. This is the Bioderma Baume Cream, Baume Cream, something like that. I don't know how it's spelled. So yeah, it is the Intensive Balmy Cream and I love this so much. It's a little on the expensive side. So this moisturizer, as you can see, it's so big. I got it from Amazon at the price of 1000 rupees. Now I do have to say that this moisturizer, the consistency, I really, really love. It's not way too thick, but it's not too runny. It's right there in between. And I do have to say that this one is fragrance free. It is, uh, it is essential oil free and also so this is alcohol free so if you're someone who has sensitive skin i do think that you are going to love this and also i do want to say that the the like the moisturization thing of this cream is so good you do not need a lot of it you just need a little tiny bit and then it covers up your whole face it gives you the perfect amount of moisturization that you need for your skin and it just it just keeps your face hydrated throughout the day you do not need to really apply this moisturizer once you apply this in the morning you are good to go throughout the day and one thing I noticed is that my skin was very, very flaky. Like my skin was fl very flaky because I was using the ordinary, uh, ordinary, I mean to say ordinary, the minimalist retinol. I was using the minimalist retinol and I had really flaky skin around this part. I always have flaky skin during winters around this part. But since I started using this, it's it, my skin has really been amazing. My skin is very, very glowy. So I, I just wanted to tell you guys how amazing this is and I really have been loving this a lot. Uh, this is what I am uh, like putting on my skin right now and you can see my skin looks very glowy and dewy. So I, I always put this on and this works as a great primer too under foundation. So yeah, I really have been loving this moisturizer. So after putting on the moisturizer, I like to go in with a sunscreen. So as I always say in my video, sunscreen is very important. It is one of the most important step. Even if you do not do any of the serums, anything, the essence, nothing at all, you at least have to have a sunscreen in your skincare routine. It is very, very important. Even if you do not want to go through all the steps that I mentioned, a sunscreen is very important. So this is my... Uh, current favorite sunscreen it is the requill spf 50 sunscreen now i have fallen in love with this sunscreen it is uh it is not too too you know i would say hydrating or oily or something that makes me look greasy i love to stay hydrated but i do not want to get greasy so it doesn't do that but it's not something that dries out my skin too it doesn't leave a white cast which is amazing and it just like sits on my skin really really nicely sometimes whenever i use sunscreen i just feel like they peel off my skin which is something that i hate whenever i just touch my skin i get like tiny little peel off uh, sunscreen things on my hands so that is something that i really hate but this one doesn't do that at all and i really have been loving this a lot so right after I put on my uh, moisturizer, I go in with my sunscreen and for sunscreen, I use a lot of sunscreen and I use it everywhere. I use it around my neck. 
I use it on my eyes, around my eyes too, because I, I see a lot of people not put sunscreen on their eyes and that will cause you dark circles, that will cause you pigmentation on there and it will make you look like you have dark circles. So always put on sunscreen around your eyes as well. So I put this all over, uh, especially around my mouth, because around my mouth I get a lot of pigmentation if I do not take care of it properly. So around my neck, ears and everywhere I put on the sunscreen and yes, you do need quite a lot of sunscreen to protect you like nicely from the sun. So I do take a lot of quantity of the sunscreen and blend it right into my skin. And as you can see, I do not get any white cast or anything after I apply this sunscreen. So lastly, what I use is this Nivea um, lip balm, which I really, really love. I have been loving this for years and years now. And I'm not someone too crazy. I do not go too crazy when it comes to lip balm. I just keep the essential, either the Nivea one or the Vaseline one. So yeah, I really do like the Nivea one and I just put this all over my lips and that's it. That completes my skincare routine. So yeah, that was everything for my skincare routine. I know that my skincare, uh, morning skincare isn't too long and there aren't many products, but whatever products I have here really do work and they really keep my skin looking very hydrated, very healthy looking. So I really am loving all of these products and this is my go-to morning skincare routine. And also I just want to say that if you do not need to have an extensive 10 step skincare routine in order to see very good changes in your skincare routine, you just need the right products and that's it. So thank you so much for watching again. If you are new, thank you so much for hanging out with me and also feel free to subscribe. Uh, it helps me out so much and also check out my other content if you want to. I love you guys so much. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.